Hello everyone, today you are going to be doing investigation 4.2 part B. So examining Earth's interior by using a computer simulator. So your teacher will somehow some way give you the link for this um, computer simulation. Uh, I have it here posted on my Google Classroom. So when you get onto the link, just click anywhere to get the simulation started. And it'll look kind of like this when you start. So it's like half of Earth. You can see the uh, layers of the Earth on one side and you can just see um, you know, earth the other direction. So I'm going to go back because I want to look specifically at the layers of earth. So you have the mantle, outer core, and inner core. Keep in mind that these are not the only layers of earth, but these are the three major layers that you really want to observe today. And you can go ahead and start this. And when you start this, um, it's going to show you where the P waves go, the S waves go. You can see where the surface waves go if you rotate it, as well as where the recording stations are along the Earth, so the seismic stations that have actually recorded this data. Um, the data that you are seeing here is actual data from the 2004 Sumatra quake and tsunami. You can click on this link um, to read more about that earthquake. Um, so this is real data, guys. And when you click play, you will see that the first, the P waves form, and those are your red lines. And then second, your S waves uh, form, those are your blue lines. And if you rotate, you can see eventually yellow lines will form, which are your surface waves. So pay attention to the direction that these waves are going, as well as the speed that they're going. So how fast or how slow are they going? And what layers of earth are they going through? Or what's happening? They might be going through the layers of the earth. You can see the P waves are doing that. Um, they might be deflecting at one of the layers of the earth. That's kind of what those S waves are doing. But the waves aren't just disappearing. They're just moving elsewhere. Uh, if you rotate, you can watch the surface waves. And you can also see all of these red triangles. Those are those seismic stations that were used to gather this data. All right, so explore that. You can also see that there is a seismogram given to you. So that's what gets recorded um, for the P waves, S waves, surface waves at those different recording stations. Uh, you have questions in your packet to answer, and that is all.